a piece of your Oscars acceptance speech. Oh, God. <laughs> which was, it was, but it, it got so much attention, and it was a standout moment of the Oscars because it was so powerful. So you said, I believe that times are changing. There is much more inclusivity. There is more diversity. Look at me. I've been in this business for 40 years, and I finally get to be number one on the call sheet. So there's this phrase, it takes a long time to become an overnight success. <laughs> and you mentioned 40 years that it finally took for you to get to that moment. I think a lot of people, and certainly a lot of critics in the world in which I exist, a lot of journalists were saying, Michelle Yeoh should have been nominated a gazillion times before this. And a lot of people thought that you should have been nominated for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. That was, would have been in 2001 for those Oscars. Do you think at that time that the industry was not ready to recognize an Asian woman at that time? I think it's quite obvious, right? You just <laughs> answered yourself. It is true. I mean, if you think about it, there were so many great Asian Chinese movies that mm -hmm. came out at that time mm -hmm. uh, from Ang Lee, from Jiang Yimou, mm -hmm. from Chiang Kai Ge, I mean, Gong Li, or, you know, there are many, many. Joan Chen, beautiful Chinese actresses that came before me who should have been. But if you look also at all the films, they get nominated here in Cannes, they get awards, but very rarely, especially in, in the Oscars, mm -hmm. very, uh, in fact, never. That's why I'm the first mm -hmm. Asian nominated. Mm -hmm. they, they would nominate best director, best film, best this, best everything. Mm -hmm. And you wonder, how come the actors don't get involved, right? How do you get there without the mm -hmm. actors? Mm -hmm. So it seems a little odd. Mm -hmm. But is it because of that? I think so. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of obvious, right? Mm -hmm. I'd hate to like rub that in their noses. Just say, let's move on. Let's move forward because the time is now that we keep moving forwards. And what I love now, there are more opportunities. Mm -hmm. There are storytellers. There are great stories to be told. Mm -hmm. And we don't have to be the only ones that tell our stories. Mm -hmm. The movie business is that we tell each other stories. Is that How do you share it? How do you make that bridge? How do you make our stories come to life? And mm -hmm. regardless, you know... That's the beauty about a, gr a great movie. It transcends culture, it transcends time, it transcends languages. Mm -hmm. When Crouching Tiger came out, people were saying, like, nobody in America will watch this film because they don't know how to read subtitles. Like, aha, uh -huh, guess what? <laughs> Americans do know how to read. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's, it's just a matter of pushing the envelope mm -hmm. and refuse to say, well, this is the normal way. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the normal way, would everything everywhere all at once, would it have been nominated? Chances are no. Mm -hmm. If you are talking about five, ten years ago, this movie would be like, it's comedy, it's mm -hmm. science fiction, it's got kung fu, mm -hmm. it doesn't fit the box. Mm -hmm. But now it seems like everybody is revamping the way they look, mm -hmm. revamping the way they think, and also they're inviting all newer members, you know, visionaries, mm -hmm. people who think differently. And that's the only way we can make our industry improve. Mm -hmm. It's to be a visionary, it's to do things differently. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we get stuck in the same box doing the same things over and over again. And then we ask ourselves why, how come there's no, nothing interesting out there? Mm 